Hello and welcome back to the Student Hub Live. Well, this afternoon's live session um, is going to cover some really important things you need to know. First, we're going to talk about the OU Students Association. Then we've got a tutor Q&A. Then we're going to look at some news about the Open University um, and student experience on a module feedback and how important that is. Um, but feeding back your comments and chat um, is Lee and Michelle, who have been talking about tickets to concerts that they've forgotten to go to um, and uh, various things like what to watch on the catch-up uh, and uh, there's been no mention of lunch so far Lee and Michelle is everyone okay well we're not quite sure really I mean you know food is usually a huge topic for us on the hot desk um, so I've just tried to prompt that I've had some uh, chicken and spinach wraps from the OU canteen in the break and uh, we're waiting to find out what everybody else has had but uh, back to the important sort of issues other than lunch, which of course obviously is very important. Um, we've been chatting to a few students about uh, USA or the Students Association, which is coming up, and guiding people to some catch-up videos as well. Brilliant, excellent, Michelle. What's been going on with these tickets? Well. My time management skills last week were appalling, let's just say that. So I would say get a calendar, put your events in it, <laughs> plan early. And I was talking to Stephanie yesterday about her time management skills and they're ace. So really plan ahead, make sure you know what you're doing when and you will not waste your money. Brilliant. And uh, we had a really good session this morning um, from the library team and uh, Fran has written a limerick in for us. Uh, we were talking about um, how you could write a love letter to the OU library about something you really, really loved or you were breaking up with them. Um, this is what Fran says. Once there was an online library, the staff were never... The, the staff there were never contrary. The help desk was great and open quite late, but the raves got a little bit leery. We <laughs> like that one, Fran. Well done. Thank you for sending that in to us. OK. OU Students Association. I'm joined by Stephanie Stubbins and Cinnamon McGuigan to talk about the association. So for a lot of new students out there, because we've got a lot of new level one students, they might not know that the OU Students Association is such a vibrant community um, and that they're automatically a member. Yeah. So all, all students that study with the OU are automatic, automatically members. They can find us on the website, which is OUStudents.com. And we're there for support to help build a sense of community and also student voice for them taking things back to the Open University. Sin, what's your involvement with everything? Um, I'm the Area Association Rep for Northern Ireland and basically my job is to represent students for the association in Northern Ireland because we have representation all across Europe and in all four of the nations so each of us have very different sort of things happening and different legislation issues around education and stuff. So the needs in the nations are slightly different to the rest of the UK. So the issues that come up in Northern Ireland may not be the same issues here. So my job is to sort of find what the students are saying yeah. in, my, in my nation and, and bring that back. Part of what you do, in addition to um, supporting students, is represent the student voice. And we've talked a lot, um, in fact, we've been talking about student voice all the way through um, the, the Student Hub Live programme, um, about why that's so important and how it feeds into different areas of the university. In terms of love letters to the library, as Fran has done, um, in terms of feedback for the student consultation, um, feeding back generally in terms of uh, you know how tutors can support students in their study. Um, but also you encourage people to sit on various boards and represent certain areas in the university through the association. Yeah. So there's the central committee representatives who sit on the OU committees, the student voice in the room. There's also um, Senate reference group volunteers have just been placed and they sit on a pre-meeting before Senate. Um, there's also other volunteering opportunities where students can um, have a say. There's also learning experience reporters. Um, they, community champions, there's lots of opportunities to get involved. Excellent. Now we've got some widgets out there as well. We'd like to know where you study um, and what does being part of the student community mean to you? And we've also got a map because we like to know where everybody is. Um, so with these word clouds where there are three options, you need to put something in each box or the results won't submit. So if you can only think of one or two things, then you need to just put a full stop in there and then you can see what everyone else is saying also. OK, so what do the Students Association actually do? Um, we actually help students to get, to get together for meetups. Um, we provide 
activities and events, example, freshers. That's one of the things we've been doing last week and this week. There's support, soci support uh, societies and clubs. Mm -hmm. um, through, through the study support um, side of things, there's Nightline, there's Disabled Students Group, there's Plexus, there's peer-to-peer -peer support and... The, the OU shop. shop. Now, this oh, is a yeah. very, very interesting thing. I mean, we've been talking beforehand about uh, how you know so many students like their OU hoodie and their OU mug and things. Is this what happens in the shop? Yes. Yes. And I'm a regular buyer of things. Whenever I've com completed a module, I treat myself to something on the shop. Yeah. Um, a jacket, a hoodie, because my mum nicked my old one. You know, stuff uh, like mugs, that. Mugs, pens. Yeah, brilliant. Now, are these essential for study or are they just something that's nice to have? Some of it is essential, so the stationery, it's nice to have a, a nice journal to keep notes in, but a lot of it is just for rewards or to show that you've, you're a, a student of the Open University. It's nice to wear that. Feels part of that community. That logo, yeah. yeah. Seeing that shield on things at home makes you feel part of it. Excellent. Um, you mentioned all students are involved and you've told us about the website and you've mentioned some of the things that are on there. The one thing that I think all students need to know about is the um, NUS card yes. because you can get fantastic discounts to loads of shops and so many people say, you know, oh, I'm doing the OU and it's this whole thing about student identity. Mm. Um, some people think it's not a proper university. We all know it is. We all know the degrees are much better um, than uh, conventional brick universities because you're getting so many skills being mm. a distance learner. Um, but tell us about the NUS card and, and how people can get hold of that. OK, you can go, if you Google NUS Extra, you can get your, um, your student card. It, it shows that you are a student. It's got photo ID on it. And I have proudly presented it at different events and places where you can get a student discount. And I've had people double looking at me like, you're a student? Yes, I am. Um, and I've shown that card. But it's also, Jealously. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it, also, um, you can get discounts on things like um, Apple products and certain stationary places. So I think it's an essential thing to You can have. use it around the world as well. I used it in Indonesia to buy a meal for my family. Wow. <laughs> and they accepted student discount because I had the ISIC build-up, which allows you to use it around the world. And it worked and it was great. Yeah, excellent. Now, we've got some students on the student desk. Lee, you're studying with us. Um, so tell us what people are talking about back at home. Oh, loads and, and loads of sort of really positive feedback. Um, sort of you know, sort of asking, you know, am, am I prepared to study? Am I, uh, am I in the right place? Have I got everything settled? And, and really my experience as a student is, is not any different at all to any other students um, with the OU. So it's a really exciting time for all of us at the moment. And I'd like to give a shout out to Lisa because she's just come back to studying after years of not studying and she's doing an access module, which is a brilliant way to get back. And I just say my husband did the same thing, uh, left school at 15, back studying in his mid 40s. And the OU has been absolutely brilliant in supporting that journey, getting back into studying. So don't worry if you haven't done it in a long time. We are here to help you. And you'll meet many people who have the same kind of thing where they're scared or they're anxious or they're not quite sure. And the fact that you're on here today is absolutely brilliant. Ask questions. We've got lots of things we want to talk to you about. Absolutely. And we've known, don't we, Michelle, that uh, having a proper induction, well, not a proper, but a good induction and spending time thinking about your studies is often uh, equated with student success, isn't it? That's absolutely right. And I think, uh, and actually speaking to Stephanie yesterday, she was saying to me that whenever possible, she takes the time. So even now, she started reading her modules. She started looking at TMAs. She said to me yesterday, uh, the weeks that we supposedly have non-study weeks, I still study those. So she's banking her time ahead of time in case something happens, because we all have things happen in life and we all have problems. So then if you have to take a week out, you're actually ahead. So I think there are lots of different ways that we can make sure that we can stay on track with our studies. And if you come off track, well, then ring up Lee at Student Support Centre and he can Absolutely. tell you a little bit about that. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll, I'll keep you on track. <laughs> Excellent. They'll take you up on that, Lee, I'm sure. OK, um, so you've talked about some of the things that you do in terms of um, listening to students. Um, but could you tell us about things like Nightline and the various forms of help and advice that students can tap into? Um, so Nightline is um, an a t telephone line you can contact in the middle of the night if you are struggling or just need someone to speak to there's volunteers on the other end and they are there to listen so they don't it give advice have out. to be study related either no, it's it's just like if you've got a personal problem that may be affecting your study but it isn't study related yeah nightline are really good at supporting them so what sorts of things might people phone up about it could be anything you could have a family emergency you could be feeling quite depressed you know something that is just 
not allowing you to get into the study mindset yeah. and sort of giving them a ring and talking to somebody who's qualified to talk that through with you yeah. can really sort of help ease that burden to allow you to move forward with the rest of things. There's also a big community of us on um, social media and some of us are in the forums as well and that's a, a good way that you'll get an extra support and uh, there's module groups that you can sign up for as well and be part of which is a brilliant time to do it is when when it's starting so you go through that student journey and that experience of that module with other people that are going through it um, at the same time exactly it makes all the difference you know knowing that it's not just you at home in your bedroom studying knowing that you've got access to hundreds of other people that are feeling the same stress and strains with the TMA coming up that you are. Yeah. It helps you feel part of that community. It's, it's the biggest thing that we've got going for us as, a, as, as students is access to other students doing the same thing. We were talking earlier and people sent in um, pictures of their desks and where they study and we were talking about the student feedback mm. session, looking at the various places people study. And that's one of our widget questions that we've asked. Um, so let's see where people study. There have been lots of things mentioned on here. We'll just get that ready for you in a minute. Uh, oh, here we are. Library. Uh, oh, the library is a big place. In my study, coffee shop, anytime at Costa Coffee, Summer House, coffee shop, Starbucks at home, Treehouse. Other coffee shops are available. Uh, the front room, ba bathroom, that's an interesting one. Uh, HJ is clearly not watching. Uh, I think he's off having a power nap. Uh, I, well, I know, I know. He, all day he's been having these power naps. Sport and Fitness Lot told us yesterday that it was really good to have these 20-minute naps um, and to eat bananas. Anyway, in return for HJ eating his fruit, he seems to be going and taking liberties with these power naps. But I've been told they're a really good idea, so what can I do? I've been told with bananas they're very good for study yeah. because they help keep your energy levels going. Yeah. So bananas is one of the foods that you should be eating. Yes, not necessarily biscuits. No. <laughs> OK, um... Now, you, uh, the whole thing with the Students Association is the sense of community, and you do this in a number of different ways. Um, I follow you on Facebook. Um, you've got a really vibrant community. You do all sorts of things there, from radio shows to meetups to Q&A mm -hmm. sessions. Um, so tell students how they can connect with some of the stuff that you've got going on. OK, so we've got a new website that's been um, launched OUStudents.com and there's specific areas. It's nicely laid out that you can find it for, for support, for student voice, for community. Um, I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> but if you go on them, if you go under community, you'll find um, the, the meetups, you'll find societies and clubs. If you want to get involved with the meetup, they'll be listed on there, but it also gives you some advice about who to contact if you want to set up your own meetup. Um, the society and clubs are all listed on there as well. Um, also, we've got our social media areas. There are groups. If you put um, OU Students Association and just click, you'll find all different types of groups. There's a, a community group that's dedicated just getting students and volunteers together. But you've also got your regions and your nations and Europe groups as well. So if you want to be in touch with students that are um, in your areas, you can go to those defined groups. Excellent. Um, people are talking about the hoodies. We've all decided that um, hoodies are a must, but uh, some good ideas coming out of this. Uh, we might need two hoodies because um, you need to wash them. Otherwise, it could make going to tutorials a little bit awkward. Yeah. Uh, so a lot going for the shop. So check out the shop and see what's there. Get your NUS card um, and find out the other ways of connecting with everyone. You've also got a conference. Yes. So that's a biannual. Sounds very exciting. The biannual conference. So that was my first experience last year. Um, it's a time when the um, student leadership team is elected, which yeah. we were both elected last year, which your officers and um, your regions and both your nations and your rep uh, representative and are trustees. Uh, trustees are elected. So who comes to the conference? Um, well, any student can apply. Right. Um, it's done by sort of area based, so that it's, it's nice spread of people that can uh, attend. And there you can find out all about your students' association. You can meet people that belong to societies, have a look at their stalls. There's um, the disabled students group are there. Plexus will be Plexus there. Plexus will be there. Um, and it's a chance to also vote on any changes to do with the association. The students get the vote on the day. Wow. Is it expensive to go? It's free. Really? <laughs> yes. So the Students Association um, pays all, all the expenses. So you literally can just, apart from alcohol, <laughs> um, we, have a nice, that, we have a nice fancy dark dress party on the Saturday mm -hmm. night, um, so if you come in, try to get in theme. 
So um, you can come and vote and you can come on campus, you can come to the library, you can rave in the library, yes. um, you can go and see the digital archives and all sorts of other things that we've been talking about. Well. The producers just told us that the rave isn't guaranteed um, uh, at the moment, but I'm sure something could be arranged. Um, now, you were talking about the voting and the roles and things, so tell us about your roles um, in the association. And I know you both find them really, really rewarding. What's in it for you and what are you actually doing? So I'm Vice President Community, so I'm an officer. Um, and so I've got quite a wide remit, so everything community-based from uh, freshers, I've, I've helped to develop and organise freshers for the last couple of weeks, to student meetups, to clubs and societies, and just getting that community building. I've been trialling a, um, a community drop-in session in OU Live uh, for the last six months, which has been quite um, positive. Students are coming in all the time, so it's now going to be a permanent fixture. Brilliant. But um, basically, I try to help bridge that um, gap of isolation that students feel by studying through distance learning. And Cinnamon, what's your role? I try to do a very similar thing in, in Northern Ireland, try to sort of get the idea that you're not alone. Um, there's a monthly meet-up at the Belfast OU offices every second, th every second Thursday of the month. Um, and that's a lunchtime meet-up so that anybody can drop in when they want to and we try to sort of have other ones you know at weekends for those people that can't make the lunchtime meet-up and just trying to foster that sense of community because I mean I've been an OU student for a very long time and it can be really really isolating when you feel that you're the only person especially if you're the only person in the house that's studying let alone feeling that you're the only person locally that is so sort of having access to other local students and knowing that there's other people around you that you can possibly be up with and you know just sort of bringing that all together and it's more and more important as we sort of get further up the levels and the face-to-face -face tutorials drop off a little bit because you don't have anywhere near as many as you get to level three yeah. and just being able to sort of meet other OU students and that's one of the most rewarding things about being elected last year is meeting the rest of the people on the CEC and the trustees and knowing that we're all working together for the same ends, you yeah. know, just knowing that we're all in this together really well, does think, help. I think benefits for me is it's built my confidence. I've um, found out I can go in front of the camera and, and do media stuff, which I didn't think I could do. Um, it's having the chance to um, go on, on to OU com committees, uh, support other volunteers um, and just... I feel so much part, not just of the um, association's community, but I feel part of the OU because of my role, because I've got so involved. Um, but even from the first day that I started to get involved with volunteering, it just, it just changes you. It changes the way you look at things. It really does. And knowing that you're valued by the people that you look up to. I mean, I have a really good relationship with the offices in Belfast and just knowing that the director in Ireland knows who I am and knows what I'm doing to represent students, it really does boost your confidence a lot. Yeah. It really does. Now you're talking about um, the various roles, but there's also clubs and societies. And I just wondered, because um, I know you're involved with the um, Right Club as well, um, if you could sort of briefly mention some of those areas that people can go and look at on the website. Well, I first got involved with the OU Students Association by helping to set up Right Club. I mean, that was, that was my first real... Um, although I'd been an OU student since 1999, this was the first time that I'd really done anything for the Students' Association. And realising just what a sense of community that brings and being able to chat to other people that have your interests, that's what led me to stand for election for the AAR, because if you can foster that sense of community that we get within the societies and the groups and sort of bring that to every other student in your region, you know, just trying to be part of that was really, really great. And the societies for everything, no matter what your interests are, you will pretty much find a group of people at the OU that are into the well, same sort of thing. Well, everyone at home is talking about hoodies. Is there a hoodie society? Because Graham wants one in X, extra, 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 extra large. Um, Malcolm's going to have a look at the shop. I um, mean, he hasn't even had a look at the library. Don't worry, though, Malcolm. It's only the start of term. You've got plenty of time for that. Um, and Will wants to have a hoodie so he can be a youth. So is there is there a society or a club for hoodies? No, no sure but I'm sure will be soon <laughs> by the sounds of it. But I would like to say I am not a hoodie fan. I'm a Zoody fan, which is the zip-up version. So anybody? Right. You'd rather have a jacket version. They're brilliant. I've, they I've got and, three and, now. And what colours do they come in? Because I've got this is another discussion point. You've got red, red you've got blue, blue, green, purple. And also on the OU shop, it's important to let students know that there's free exam papers as well. Ah, yeah. So if you're studying a module now that has an exam, go and look on on the exam paper page. 
put in your module code and you can download all the previous ones so you might have to relook to check for the yeah. different years but it's worthwhile getting them I always them. used to buy those and it's so much yeah because so they're free now, now they're free. aren't they it's which fantastic. is incredible really um, and is. Lee's just put the link um, to that in the chat thank you very much Lee for doing that yeah the exam papers I mean I know everyone's just starting to study um, but they're a really good idea to get the format of the exam and to identify what areas may be asked and, and also whether or not you've got three essays or short questions or multi, you know how the exam is set up um, so it's great to have that as a resource yeah. Also, another tip for students that are studying, have your TMA next to you when you're studying the blocks because things will jump out at you that are connected with the assignment. And another, notes, yeah. another tip as well, because um, we were talking about time management yesterday, uh, I've had students that have contacted me and said, I, I can't focus, I can't retain the information. Mm. I learnt through saying the same thing to another student. They told me about a method where you just, you have... Um, shorter study times, more frequent breaks. So I do 45 minutes study, I have a 15 minute break, I then repeat three times and then I'll have at least an hour. Sometimes I go back and do a second lot of sessions, but I find I retain, retain the information, I don't get bored and I can focus easier. So if you find that you find bigger study sessions um, quite um, overwhelming yeah, yeah. and you're not taking in the material you're working on, give it a go, give the shorter ones a go. Brilliant, excellent. Let's take a quick trip to Lee and Michelle and see what everyone at home is talking about. Uh, just wanted a few comments from previously. Stephanie used her NUS card in Rome to get half price entrance to the Colosseum. Brilliant. Which is brilliant. And Graham mentioned that he uses separate professional and uh, student accounts so that he doesn't get confused. So he's got his work accounts on Facebook, for example, and then he's got student pages on Facebook to keep his life separate. And Ronald says that when he needs to, he goes and takes a break and talks to the mountain because that's a nice, peaceful place for him to regroup. So those are some of the things that people are saying online. And Alexi, after my own heart, wants a purple hoodie. But Lee, what's a Zuddy? What is a Zuddy? I think we've all been educated today. I certainly have, so thank you for <laughs> giving us that. Um, a Zuddy, I was wearing one this morning. Uh, a hoodie with a zip, I believe. Fantastic hoodie with a zip. It's been uh, popular. It could be trending, could be hashtagging before the day's <laughs> out. Um, also well worth noting as well, uh, a few more of our students who are proud NUS card holders uh, have been claiming a wide variety of discounts, not only at the Coliseum, but closer to home in uh, Mexican-themed restaurants. Um, there's only about two on the UK High Street, so you can guess where your uh, cheap nachos are from. <laughs> quick question is it ie or why for hoodies and zoodies i mean i think we'll have to refer this to the faculty of uh, arts uh, <laughs> to, get a, to get a full uh full, or possibly even wells um it's a language question yeah and something else we, we spotted hj on the forum but we wondered whether he was sleep typing during his power nap What's following his saying? banana well, he too was a hoodie fan. Right. And, uh, he, he's mooted the idea of uh, a hoodie party slash rave. Um, <laughs> but I, I think we need to uh, close the cupboard door where he is uh, very, very quickly and uh, muffle his screams. We <laughs> might have to upgrade that to a zoody rave. Yes. <laughs> as long as they're purple. <laughs> yes. All these terms and conditions. I don't know. This is how these... How's Davin's religion going? Anyone up for that still? Or has that sort of died a death now after the, the attempts to split it all up? Oh, the, the, the cake religion. Yes. Um, it's not really got much further, unfortunately. It's, uh, We've all it's, gone off to eat cake. Yeah, yeah there, No, there were splinter groups of all types of cake. We couldn't read it. It was a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah. I think bananas probably, and actually Lee pointed out earlier, a combination of protein and carbs at lunchtime is quite good for sustaining the energy in the afternoon and Absolutely. keeping your study levels up. And also really important to uh, mention those past papers again on the USA shop website. It's an amazing resource and I know certainly from the student support team's point of view we signpost a lot of students uh, to uh, to those papers so they're a fantastic resource. And Franz just ordered a hoodie. Yay! So <laughs> excellent go online and have a look and see what you can get and we had some comments on mugs as well so a lot of love for the excellent. OU um, Marvellous. kit. We can afford more biscuits now. <laughs> and has Graham decided if he needs an XL or an XXXXXXL yet? Well, I think we'll probably... He said Excel, but, you know... He might just be bored typing. <laughs> <laughs> he could have sleep typing, all those this Xs. Is the problem, we don't know. We don't know. Okay. Um, so this, this whole idea of Facebook, I think, is a really interesting one because a lot of your groups are on Facebook, and in some of them, with the closed groups, you ask people to have a little OU identifier on their profile, yeah. which can be really um, useful as an indicator that they're an OU student, and some students may want to set up separate profiles so that yeah. they can engage in that different world. How common is that? Well, I've got two profiles. I've got one that 
I've got for family and friends, and yeah. I've got one for the OU and association, and I'm never on the other one. <laughs> I'm always on the OU and association one. Um, but having some sort of um, hint that you're an OU student, that you um, or what you're studying, or, or what, you can wear your hoodie or zuddy. Yes, yeah. or obviously you can get a badge, a sort of identifier frame thing that you can put in with in with your profile. But it just makes it so much easier when you would want to join any of the other um, OU groups and association groups. But there, you will find some of the groups now, there's a new thing where you can ask um, prospective members a few questions. So don't be afraid of answering those questions. They're not going to be shared anywhere. It's just that we can identify that you're an OU student so that you know the group you're coming in is all OU students. So I've got a few questions about the hoodies. Uh, Cherry's in the chat um, and she wore her hoodie to the doctors this morning um, and now they all want one. Um, and Jane wants to know whether the hoodies are pockets for irons. Yes, I have got pockets. Yeah. yeah. Nice big pocket. Yeah. And it's got a little hole <laughs> in it so that you can put your, yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. your bits through, definitely. And they're also coming, asking about the sizing. Like, this is a serious question. Uh, do they come up big or small in terms of ordering sizes? I think, I think they're quite roomy. Yeah, I, th I do yeah. as well. So, so go a size sort of, yeah. yeah. But if, yeah. if you have got a problem with the sizing and you, you get it, you can, um, you can send it back it. because I've done it. Yeah. Oh, OK. So you can get the size yeah. sorted out. Brilliant. Excellent. OK, that's brilliant. Now, other students can volunteer. Um, and it, does this just happen at conference that people get elected? And what are the ways that people can volunteer to support other OU students? Well, volunteering happens throughout the year. Yeah. We've got some opportunities open at the moment. We do. And we do have spaces for by-elections throughout the year when posts become... Yeah. Um, We've got a by-election at the moment. We're currently in the middle of a by-election for the Deputy President yeah. of, the, of the Central Executive Committee. Okay. So, I mean, there is the facility to... Yeah, so we've got to have by elections, learning experience but... reporters, they're, they're still open at the moment. Central committee representatives, that's open. If you go onto the website and click volunteer, which is at the top, there's roles there. But there's a lot of roles that aren't on there yeah. because it's a brand new website. Everything's getting put on. But the ones that are open are definitely on there. But there's opportunities throughout. We've got 40, 40 new community champions that um, we're just uh, writing the training for. Um, and that, that'll be starting in a week or so. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's opportunities all the way through from writing for the magazine yeah. to doing a blog to the, we've got radio hosts. Yeah. Um, you could be a host for a meetup. Join um, the society, get on a committee society. there. There's, yeah. there's, there's lots of opportunities for getting involved. Now, you started from the um, club sort of aspect and then you got confidence. What would you say to students who maybe haven't joined anything yet? Can they still volunteer? Yeah. Of course you can. I mean, that, you've got to go through the door somehow. Yeah. That door's not going to open until you try it. And yeah. if the first thing you want to do is something that's not already available, there's always the opportunity to set up new societies. We get new societies coming on board all the time. I mean, this hoodie society may very well be the next one that comes along. <laughs> or it could be a club, because we're launching clubs, which, yeah. is, a, which is a less formal uh, topical group I for students. I think would be a club, not yeah, a society. Yeah, it sounds more like a club. Yeah. Um, but there's all different opportunities to join things like that. I was actually a member of a committee for the for one of the societies, and I, my first big event that I came up here up to the campus was a societies event, mm -hmm. and that gave me an insight to the work that committees do. And then we we've just hosted another one this year. So you even as as a society committee member will get a chance to come up to the campus. Wow, excellent. And I know a lot of you at home want to do that, so uh, this is a very good reason to, uh, to make a trip up to Milton Keynes and get involved with things. You can do your ironing as well while you're up here in your hoodie. Um, OK, so uh, we asked people what does being part of a student community mean to them? Um, and I'd like to sort of feed back on some of these answers yeah. as we end this session. So let's take a look at what everybody said at home. So talk with other students, sharing tips, support is coming up. Big in the middle there. Student identity, camaraderie, opportunities, ideas, sense of belonging, empathy, um, connecting with students, learning, excited. Wonderful positive. I don't think there's anything negative there at all. Um, community is really important. And we know that you know when people feel part of a community, again, they have better opportunities to succeed in their studies. Um, so let's just take a quick trip back to the hot desk and see if there's any outstanding questions about hoodies. I think we've pretty much covered all the hoodie-related yeah. questions, but there might be something else. So let's go and see Lee and Michelle. 
I wanted to give a shout out, just to make sure I've got the name right here, um, my apologies, William, uh, he has done some volunteering and he agrees with Stephanie, it's given him confidence, particularly around anxiety, so anxiety of meeting new people, getting involved in volunteering and now feeling more comfortable, uh, and that's great, that's a, a, an added bonus to studying at the university. And I think also um, one of our uh, students, Malcolm, uh, has been sort of uh, returning to study and his life is a little bit different now from when he first studied when he was a little bit younger um, he's sort of finding that his life's a bit more fragmented he's got commitments with family and friends and he's wondering how to balance that study and life and work all at once as well and I'm sure lots of our students sort of have their own tips and, and hints and advice for him as well and I'm sure you guys from the student uh, uh, association do as well so we're providing some uh, t hints and tips for him there and also on our help centre there's some information about um, how to support a student if you're a family or a friend of a student as well and that's some really that's great tips point. there as well and karen i put on here the chat room about the app that converts text pdfs into voice pdf I want that. and so there's a bit of interest around that as well so i don't know if anybody had experience with it wants to share it on the hot desk but it's a great way mm. if you're commuting you don't have time because we talked about getting up at 5 30 in the morning maybe when the kids are not asleep still so they're just trying to figure out when can they fit their study in how can they fit their study in Right, excellent. Well, uh, I'm, I'm also pleased that you've all uh, moved on from the hoodies and uh, everyone's now buying bags. So uh, there's bag envy going on because some people have got bags and other people don't. So uh, the shop's going crazy. Um, the, the, the way that people can connect, though, with um, social media can really throw up a lot of advice and mm. tips. And we've been seeing a lot of ways of supporting students because everyone's got these really clever ways of fitting study in with life. Yeah. Um, and I guess that's the key benefit of being connected with um, yeah. the Student Association on Facebook and Twitter, etc., is to get some of those ideas and to be able to share and connect with others. For example, with my the timing from for my study sessions that was a tip from another student. Mm. Also, the way that I note take my first module, I practically retyped the module out and I nearly coloured it in with highlighting yeah. because I was afraid of missing something and I got introduced to a, a note-taking technique where I annotate on the books now yeah. which I never thought I would do but I do now uh, and printed material I annotate on Two, going to a, a new type of studying style when I was on my way up yesterday I've started my new modules I had an iPad Pro I don't know if I should say that and a pencil and I was annotating on a device and I literally um, was doing what I would do at home but I was doing it on a coach yesterday oh. and it was just a brilliant experience. That I, In between all the volunteering I do, my health issues, I am studying at the same time and it is a balancing thing. And I think just having one person you can talk to, even if it's another student, makes that difference. And uh, finding the balance is find your study time, make yourself a little study area. Even if it is in your bed, have your stuff next to you so you're ready. So you, when you get into your seated position ready for study, you know you're in that sort of zone and you're ready to move forward with it. No, students are so supportive to each other. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a great idea to reach out. And tutorials, of course, and forums are a good place mm. to do that. And you've got lots of cafes. I mean, we've got whole sorts of ways that you can connect with the um, Students Association. And those links will be coming through in the chat. There's the website, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Facebook. Um, and there's a community group on Facebook. So lots of opportunity yes. depending on your social media needs. Well, Stephanie and Cinnamon, thank you so thank much you. for coming along and telling us all about the association and how to connect and inspiring a very shopping-related discussion yes. <laughs> which has got us off the topic of lunch okay um, our next session is going to um, be another way of considering support and this is all about the role of your tutor now we've had some students letting us know that they've heard from their student their tutor today um, let us know in the chat if you've heard from your tutor if you're waiting to hear from your tutor if you've been allocated your tutor because our next session is a Q&A with Georgina and Matt um, and we're going to be uh, asking them all the things that you need to know about making the most of that very important relationship Relationship. We'll have a quick video in the meantime and we're going to show you the Jenny Lee building. So I'll see you very soon.